So you're a part of QC? I'm still part of QC. Quality control. Great crew. I am. Great crew. I'm a huge Migos fan. Hey, well, shout to the boys. Shout to everything they're doing over there with good music, man. And, um, all right, yeah, because they're, they're now managed by good music. Yeah. 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 And, and, and I'll be honest, man, because I, I remember I was in Atlanta. I, I forgot what. This was some BT something weekend. Mm -hmm. and, and Coach K hit me up, and he said, hey, I need, I need a favor. I need you to interview my new group, the Migos. Mm -hmm. You know, play me some of their music, you know, took me to the studio, a bunch of dudes, you know, putting, you know, mixtapes together, you know, right. some CDs together. Play me the shit, I'm like, I don't, I don't really get it. But, you right. know, but you and I have a relationship, so I'm going to do the interview. Right. Right? Did the interview. Versace, you know, and then, like, a couple days later, Drake dropped, you know, jumped on Versace. Right, and that right, right. went through the roof. Change and I said, thing. you know, and I'll be honest, I said, okay, these are going to be, they're going to have this one hit because of Drake, and that's going to be it. And damn, was I wrong. <laughs> they kept dropping hit after hit after right. hit after hit. Right. I, I think that also does also had to do a lot with, with timing, too, because there was nothing like the Migos when they dropped. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. So. And, and Quavo really has become like a real standout. Like, like Quavo, Quavo has always been a standout, though. I really think, I think, I think a lot of times, too, people don't realize that, but Quavo has always been a standout. Mm. Because if you look at the structure of Migos songs, Quavo was always the melodic one. Yeah. And then you had Takeoff, who done the real rap component, so nobody could say they couldn't rap. And then Offset always said in the middle, he can bring you sauce and he'll rap at the same time. Yeah. So I think Quavo's just moving more into being Quay, you know? Yeah, and I personally, and I remember I interviewed him about this, I personally feel like he's more of a singer than a rapper. Do you, do you consider it singing in terms of what you do, or do you still consider it rapping? <laughs> nah, I don't call it singing, I just call it like, you know what I mean? Just some trap funk. I mean, but it, but it, but it I call is, it, I call it, it trap funk. I mean, you could, you could yeah. kind of say it's like singing, though. And I, I don't mean this as a, you know, I'm not taking away nothing from it. I, I personally think it's dope. Appreciate it. Okay. But, but you don't consider singing at all? No, I don't think it's singing. You know, like, who's part of Quality Control now? Like, what are all the groups? <sighs> All right, well, you got to, uh, I, I don't know, I'll, I'll pop him off because I don't know if he's official, official, but I think he is. Uh, you got J.R.E. Woods from Chicago. Okay. We got uh, Skipper the Flipper, yep. of course. We got... Um, you? Well, I, I'm going to say myself for last because I'm in a different category. We got... Okay. Um, Migos. We got Migos. We got Yachty. Mm -hmm. We got... All right, uh, yeah, yeah, Lil Yachty joined Quality Control. Join Lil Yachty is QC, real QC. That's why I get tired of people acting like Yachty is... Some random ass nigga like. Well, no, but originally he wasn't quality control. He he ended up. Well, no, when he first, just like me, when he first dropped, he was by himself. He was it was by just himself. him and sailing team, and that's what they was doing. Now, you yeah. know, I was me and OGG, and then you go to you know QC for like management and looks and shit, you know, yeah. and then bo, there you go, boy y'all. So now you got Yachty, and uh, we got um, somebody gonna be mad. I'm taking me this long to figure out, think about them, but you know, we got, oh man, I can't believe it, but free yummy. You know, we got Yami Pearl as mm -hmm. our female artist, and she'll be out sooner than later. Super dope. Um, on the production side, we got my producer, uh, OG Parker, is actually now the QC official producer. So, you know, we got we got some sauce going on over there. You know, as well, of course, we got Rich the Kid and everybody else. And, oh, you know, yeah, Rich, yeah, Rich the Kid is... is, is yeah, we're all over there. You know, I've been knowing Rich for years, though, so... I, Rich is dope. Yeah, Rich, Rich got some shit going Especially, on. Especially, like, I, I love that shit he dropped with... Um, with Jaden Smith. Yeah, yeah. That shit was tough. <laughs> I mean, it was random, too. People weren't expecting that. It was hella random. And, and you got the subgroups because you got, like, Rich Forever, uh, which even though it's, you know, it's just under 300, you know, still, Rich is still QC in that four. You know, make decks is, like, extended family. And right. then, you know, you got um, the Wire Hand guy, so you got, like, Mango and all them. You know? So we got a few. What is it about quality control that that really has has become so successful? I think it's because people don't know the dynamics of quality control. Um, that they, they kind of like look for what is the secret and there really is no secret. The fact of the matter is all of us is completely different. We all go to different parts of the world. I, don't, I haven't recorded in QC and don't even remember. You know, it's been a while since I actually recorded something at QC. Um, you mean the studios? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, even when I was still living in Atlanta, I didn't record it like that. You know what I'm saying? And 
I think people don't also realize it's like there's a bunch of factions in QC. Like that's why I say myself for that. I'm something completely different. Mm -hmm. You know, like you have people in QC who are pretty much, you know, contained and and you know created by QC and then you have people who came to QC, you know, knowing that it would be a bigger platform for what they already had going on. And a lot of times we do a lot of work, you know, on our own and that's what gets coach them to even look at what's going on. And a lot of people think, you know, well, oh, you a QC, they gave you all these looks, and they gave you all this shit, and they gave you all this, and that's what happened. Well, I'm on QC because nobody gave me all these looks, because nobody did shit. That is why I'm on QC, because they pretty much know you can figure it out. You know, and that's what keep us all going. You have a relationship with uh, Lil Yachty? I know Yachty about as well as Yachty knows me. So, you know, we interact. We don't have any... <laughs> I can't say like, you know, we're like the best of friends, but Yachty is a great kid. I like him a lot. You know I mean what, his that that song, that broccoli song with with Dram. With Dram, yeah, two Drum, times platinum now. Two times platinum, right. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh his his mixtape went through the fucking roof. Yeah, I mean I I, I fuck with Yachty from the moment he of course he dropped that title interview. It was like, Yeah, man, I started rapping because OG Mako, you guessed it. Oh, he said that. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's what's noted. Up. So, That's what's up. You know, from the moment I seen that, I like, like looked at what was going on, you know, and I remember they was talking about it. But the other thing about Yachty is, you know, especially with me, it's really interesting for me to look at that situation because Yachty is everything I told Coach him I could be if we knew what we were doing. And I think that, that's what nobody realizes. You know, I came in with the blonde hair and all the rage and all the wild ass shit, and rap was so fucking stale and lame that nobody was doing no shit like that. So. I called a backlash for it, and then now it's the culture. So Yachty literally got, he came out, did the exact same thing, and it's like, boom! Yeah, now it's amazing! <laughs> so.